You could be forgiven for thinking, the reticulate stargazer is just another strange looking creature that lies in the sand, that you only see on night dives and doesn't do much apart from every now and then it will bury itself in the sand once your dive guide wafts away the covering of sand concealing its body. How wrong we are. There's plenty going on with these chaps. Stargazers are masters of disguise. Buried in the sand with the eyes just above the surface and their gill vents concealed far from the head so as not to cause attention to their protruding eyes when it ejects water from the gills. And those teeth-like things near its mouth, they're not teeth at all. They're just skin protrusions that disguise the mouth and not give the game away. You should never touch any creature, but with a stargazer there are two very good reasons why you should keep your hands off. Firstly, it has two concealed hollow spines behind its eyes, which will inject a toxic venom, which will hurt. A lot. Secondly, you will be electrocuted. They have evolved organs in their face that produce enough electricity to stun its prey or defend from predators. As we can see, they are perfectly designed to lie in the sand and wait for some unsuspecting fish or shrimp to pass by to quickly gobble it up. Sometimes, if there's not much prey around, they stick out a lure to hopefully attract something to come in range of strike. And this is what happens when they strike. Slowed down, it is a mighty impressive action and highly accurate. There are not many times of the fish getting away from a strike like this. If you have video lights or a powerful torch, keep them on and wait. Quite often small fish are attracted to the lights and will give the stargazer an early birthday present. Enjoy the show. To book your next Philippine dive holiday, visit our website philippinediveholidays.com or email info at philippinediveholidays.com.